Mr. S. Stinky, my queen. I would have gotten here sooner, but the old fool and his Seamus wouldn't let me leave. We've got to get rid of them once and for all. Do we have to? Killing seems so... deadly. Trust me, sweetie. It's the only way to get everything we want. Oh, baby. Okay, that's quite enough of that. It's Droopy and Stitch. Sam and Max. What are you doing down here? We were about to ask you the same question. We were? I was gonna ask about biological compatibility issues. All right, fine. There's no point in denying it any longer. This is where Sal and I meet to revel in our forbidden love. Yeah, the forbidden love thing. Not where we meet to discuss getting rid of our evil grandpa stick. Ah! Right, just the forbidden love. Really? Then how do you explain that? Whoa. Where'd those come from? Yes, master. master. Sam, what just happened? Well, on the upside, it looks like neither Stinky nor her chitinous boyfriend are the master of these Samalikes. On the downside, it appears that our icky and potentially murderous lubberbirds are under the psychic thrall of our mysterious fiend. Man, I wouldn't want to be the master when Stinky snaps out of it. She straight up hates thralls. It's too bad it's not Friday. I bet that's evil cloning facility Bagel Day. Sal? Sal's not really here right now, guys. Only the, uh, what do you call it? Indomitable will of the master. The master's name is Will? The master wants you to know that half-assed wordplay won't get you any closer to revealing his identity. Well, there goes 90% of our repertoire. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> stinky? There is no stinky worm. Only the unknowable will of the master. Yeah, can't say I'm loving the new attitude, Stinky. Then again, we really didn't love the old attitude either. Check it out, Max. Car tracks. Maybe there's gold at the end of this tunnel. Or rare deposits of Camp Gideon. You're a strange little imp, Max. Uh, are we there yet? We've been walking for nearly a decameter. I love your wacky made-up units of measurement, Max. I... Wait a minute, there's a light up ahead. Bosco Tech? Shh, something weird is going on. Weird by our standards or everyone else's? Mr. Molman, please concentrate. Without your assistance, we'll never be able to contact Dr. Mama Bosco. No, we won't. You don't know what you're doing. Super Bowl. Mr. President, you're alive. I'm overjoyed. I can tell. What are you doing here? Yeah, why aren't you back at the White House keeping that backstabbing Secretary of Health and Human Services away from my Cuban cigars? I'm here to investigate the rampaging Sam clones and their possible connection to the so-called Devil's Toy Box, sirs. What a kawinky dink So are we. Yes, sirs. Quite the kawinky dink Hey, if you're here and I'm here, who's running the country right now? I've taken the liberty of installing an amusing bobblehead figurine in the Oval Office. No one seems to have noticed. A seance? That's not exactly in your bailiwick now, is it? Okay, I'm just gonna stand right over here until I can shake off the memory of you saying bailiwick. 
You are sadly correct, sir. As a medium, I'm more of an extra small. But it's desperately important that we make contact with the missing Dr. Mama Bosco. Why? I would think it's obvious, sir. The Sam clones. Her hands are all over them. Ew. Figuratively, sir. Oh, that's better. Are you going to take another shot at summoning Dr. Mama Bosco? Actually, sirs, I was thinking of leaving it to someone who specializes in weirdness. Larry King is here? I think he was talking about us. Oh. Do you know anything about these Samuel Acra? Doggleganger's. According to the authorities, they're fanning out across the city in search of the remaining toys of power. Remaining? Yes, sirs. In the aftermath of the Salmon Mock incident, our crypto scientists estimate that there are only a few hundred TOPs extant, and they're scattered throughout the city. What will happen once the Sam clones gather all the toys? Nobody knows. A few experts believe that the person who created the clones will use the fully empowered Devil's Toy Box to psychically bring about a golden age of unity and harmony. That'd be an unexpected twist. But most of them concur that we'll likely be facing some sort of universal Armageddon scenario in which a horrific beast of unimaginable power reigns over the Earth and the living envy the dead. What happened to Mama Bosco? I'm not certain, sirs. I came here to investigate reports of illegal cloning activity, only to find Dr. Mama Bosco missing. I'm conducting a seance to bring her in for questioning. Stay loose, Superball. I always do, sirs. Harry, you're alive. Don't sound so disappointed. Ah, oh, don't be that way, Harry. You cheated me out of millions of dollars and trapped me in a killer sauna. How should I be? Sadder but wiser? What do you know about these scary but toy stealing Sams? Nothing! You sure you want to stick with that answer? Yeah, isn't that your tunnel that connects directly to the big old cloning facility? That old thing? I haven't been down there in months. After Mama Bosco started using it to store crate loads of high-tech equipment, it kind of lost its rustic charm. Think he's telling the truth? Probably. Harry doesn't have the brains, brawn, or all-around competence to pull off a scheme like this. <clears throat> you know, I am standing right here. What sorts of high-tech equipment was Mama Bosco storing in your hole? How should I know? She never tells me anything. How'd you get out of Skunk Ape's ship? I'm glad you asked. My incredible adventure began when I discovered a small crack in the back of my cell. Uh, second thought, never mind. What's with the seance? Super Dense over there wants to summon Dr. Bosco back to the lab for questioning, but he doesn't know what he's doing. How so? It's so obvious that he can't make contact with the spirit realms. I mean, he can't even get in touch with my recently deceased relatives. Why don't you tell us about those recently departed relatives? Sorry, Sam. The memories too fresh. Fair enough. What happened to Mama Bosco? I don't know. When I returned to the lab after my harrowing adventures on Skunkopi's ship, she was acting um, strange. Strange? Yes. She was distracted and wafted about the facility with an agitated nervousness that one would normally associate with a guilty conscience. You got all that from the way she was wafting? Well, that, and she gasped, Oh no! It's all my fault! Before she floated out of the building. No one's seen her since. So, you don't know where Mama Bosco is? Not a clue. That's why we're trying to hold a seance. To compel her to return. Hang in there, Harry. Do I have a choice? Stupid Super Bowl can't even contact Uncle Morty, and he's only been dead for a week. All units establish a perimeter around Bosco Tech. Oh, this is rich. You think that you have the spiritual chops to summon Mama Bosco? Hey, Sam's got more spiritualism in his pinky than the love child of the Dalai Lama and Mother Teresa. Actually, I don't think I have a pinky finger, Max. Let's begin, sirs. Ghoulies and imps from a Black Sabbath song. Give us a... Ghoulies and imps from a Black Sabbath song. Give us a signal by banging that gong. Harry Moman. What? The spirits wish to speak to you. 
Oh, do they? And who, pray tell, wants to talk to me? Your Uncle Morty. Uncle Morty? Is it you? Talk to me, Uncle Morty. Talk to me. Yes, your Uncle Morty. He has something important to say. Mortimer Moleman, your nephew is waiting. Harry. I'm waiting to hear from my uncle. Yes, Uncle Morty. I can feel his presence coming closer. Mortimer, come out and play. I believe! I believe! Spirits of the Underworld, speak to me! I didn't say that! Morty, Morty, Oxen, fr Harry! Uncle Morty? Yes, it's your Uncle Morty! You sound... weird. I've got a cold! <laughs> in heaven? Who said I was in heaven? If it's really you, then tell me the secret you kept from me all these years. Um... Let me think about it! Morty M. Molman, your entrance is cued! To conquer your stage fright, just picture us nude! Come on, Morty, come on! Tell me where you hid your stamp collection. Talk to us, Morty! Harry! Uncle Morty? My stamp collection is hidden! Yes? In the attic? Yes? Of the Statue of Liberty! I knew it! It's a miracle! Thank you, Uncle Morty! Thank you, Max! <laughs> that Mr. Molman's leap of faith has allowed the POTUS to make contact with our target, sirs. Yes! Thanks for the rescue, boys. Mama Bosco, what happened to you? I don't know. I was looking into all these rampaging Sam clones when all of a sudden my spirit started pinballing through all sorts of nightmarish heck dimensions. If your seance hadn't anchored me to this plane of existence, I might never have found my way home. Oh dear. It seems that the boundaries between realities are decaying. I'd best alert my superiors. Hey, I thought I was your superior. Of course you are, sir. And I uh, need to tell my girlfriend in uh, Winnipeg. Way to clear a room, Mama B. Good. Now maybe we can get to the bottom of this mess. Hey, little buddy. That sizest, Sam. Keep it real, little buddy. That's not really my forte, Sam. Hey, Max, look. Mama Bosco changed her number. In the last 24 hours? <laughs> Being dead must be making her paranoid. Hey, Dr. Mama Bosco. Can we ask you a few questions? Can it wait? I'm very busy trying to figure out where all these Sams came from. It'll only take a minute. Fine. Got any ideas on how to stop the clones? Um, no. Not really. What are you doing? Same as you two. I'm trying to find out who's behind all these clones. I'm sure Bosco will be okay. Yeah, a Las Vegas wedding will be just the thing to center his restless spirit. I wish that were true, but I just know this will all end in tears. And lawsuits. And shirtless raids by the police.
Hey, Dr. Mama, we got some mail from Baby Bosco. Really? Hold it up for me so I can read it. Hmm. Hmm. $20,000? Roscoe Bosco, what sort of hustle have you gotten yourself into? Mama B? Yes? Max and I were taking a closer look at those underground cloning tanks. Yes? And they've got Bosco tech written all over them. That's horrible. Someone must have snuck into my lab and stolen all my cloning equipment. Who do you think broke into your lab to steal all your cloning equipment? Well, whoever wanted an army of Sam clones, obviously. Well, duh, Sam. 